Hi everyone, welcome to new video from Not Real Engineering, and this is a short video about how to read ODB files using Python scripting and specifically field output values from ODB files. This is the fifth tutorial video in series Python scripting in Abacus. And if you have not watched the earlier four videos, the links are in the description box below. In previous tutorial video, we saw how to read ODB files using Python scripting. But in that video, we saw how to read history output values. And I got many requests to create a video to read field output values. So we are going to use same problem. This problem we modeled in tutorial two. Basically, it has a RVE, a square RVE with randomly distributed inclusions. And we are fixing one side of RVE and applying displacement boundary condition on another side of RVE. Now I have the ODB file ready. I'm going to go through that ODB file using Python scripts. And our aim is to find maximum value of mice's stress. We are not going to worry about at which location that maximum stress occurs, but we just want to know what is the maximum stress value in this RVE. To do this, whenever you submit the job, you must have field output request raised. By default, Abacus will have these field output requests such as displacement, stress, strain and reaction force. So in today's video, we are going to access this stress field output. Now in short, our workflow will be like this. First, using Python script, we will open this ODB file. Then we will access data from field output request. And this is created by default. So I didn't do anything special while submitting the job. Then from that data, we are going to choose stress and in stress, we are going to choose mices and we will get the value of mices stress for all the points in this RVE. And again, this data will be saved for each and every frame. And we are going to focus only on last frame, but easily you can change this and you can access any frame you want. Then we will find what is the maximum value of mices stress. And finally, we will write that value into a text file. Just a reminder that the Python code I'm using in this video is already available for you to download on the GitHub profile of this channel. You can find the link in the description box below. First, let me show you how the code works and then we will see what is in the script. I have saved that ODB file in the working directory. This is the ODB file we are going to access random inclusions and this is the Python script to access it. Let's run this Python script and then we will check what is in the Python script. To run the script, go into file, run script. And over here, you just have to select that script, say, okay, it's already done. It was pretty quick Then go to working directory. And here you will see this text file. If you open this text file, you will see the results over here in this text file. Now let's go back to our code. First, we will import bunch of stuff. Then over here, we are creating the text file named results underscore from ODB. You can write anything over here in text file. Then on this line, you have to give the name of ODB file. In our case, it is random inclusion. Next, you have to provide the path. If it is already in working directory, you don't have to change this at all. Here I am combining both that ODB name and path together and adding dot ODB to it. And with this open ODB command, we are opening that ODB. Now, once we are inside the ODB, we are going in steps. We are going into step one. Then in step one, there are many frames. I'm accessing last frame. Last frame you can access by saying minus one. In that frame, we are going into field output. In field output, we are going into stress and in that stress, there are many values because over here, there will be S11, S12, mice, stress car, everything will be in this. And this is for all the points. So this is very big array. Then using this for loop, we will go through all the points one by one. So you can see this for loops goes from zero to length of this all points array. And in that we will save the mice stress for each point. You can see if you put dot mice, you will get mice stress. Here, if you put dot data and in bracket zero, it will give you S11. If you want to access displacement, you can change this over here to U. If you want strain, you can change this to LE. Just you can check into Abacus CAE and all the options over there you can access from here as well. Then we are saving these mice stress into one list. And finally, we are finding out what is the maximum value in this list and writing that maximum value into text file. At the end, we are closing the ODB file and closing the text file. So it's a very short code. You can modify it and play with it as per your need. This code is available to download from the link in the description box. And let me open that ODB file. So this is that ODB file. So whatever options you see here, all those options, you can just put that name over here. So instead of S, you can do over here U. Then it will give you displacement values. But when you change this to U over here, you have to change this as well. You can't keep this as mices. This you have to keep as data and in bracket zero, this will give you U1. So this zero means whatever you see over here, U1. 
then there will be u2 also and you can access magnitude as well so all the options over here you can find just by changing these two parameters over here that's it for this video if you are interested in learning abacus more you can check out this channel there are many other videos about abacus all the codes which i use on this channel are also uploaded on channel's github profile you can directly download them from here and the link of github profile is included in the description box below if you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these you can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together for example let's say if you are interested in ansys tutorials you can go to this ansys tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and as always thank you for watching Thank you.